Hey guys, welcome back. I have like three or four videos to drop. I, I know I should space them out in terms of getting more views, but honestly, I just love putting information out there. I love making the videos. Um, I really wish I would have done this way, 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 way longer ago, especially in terms of how many more cards I would have had at a cheaper price for this. Um, but so today what I'm showing you, and we're going to report them pretty soon, is um, more than likely, you know, I'd say I'd say 100% this is a scammer. So if you can see up top um, what the item is, it's Pokemon First Edition Base Set Packs, and he's asking 500. And, that, and uh, you know, I would read the description too to see if that's what they're actually asking. You know, because sometimes they'll do a low price, you'll click on it and find out, oh, 500 isn't what I'm selling for, I'm asking 10 grand. So, um, you yeah, know, I just wanted to show, uh, this is, you know, the blue is me, and the white is, of course, the person, the scammer. Um, so I, of course, start with the automatic reply. Hi, Kenneth, is this still available? Yes, I have 32 available packs right now. Um, I, of course, say, what's the meetup location? Because I'm not going to <clears throat> buy this not from eBay. Because uh, with eBay, you are guaranteed a return through Facebook, not so much. So and he doesn't take PayPal. He only does um, Cash App. So he goes, I only ship, had a bad incident with Meetup last week. I wanted to reply with, I only meet in person, had a bad incident with ship last week. But I figured, you know, let's see how much further we can take this. If I immediately, if I immediately reply as a smart ass, um, the conversation may not go further. So I replied with, that's fine. We can meet and mitigate whatever issues happened last time by just doing the Meetup proper. And so, you know, so I follow up with, so what were the issues? And he goes, grab and run at Starbucks. And to me, I'm kind of thinking, okay, that's fair. This may have happened. But there's a lot of things that don't fully fit this. Starbucks is one of those businesses that tends to have a lot of cameras. And um, I don't know, if I were meeting up with something like this valuable, I always try and see what the person comes in. If they come in a car, I make sure I try and capture their license plate on video. I try and make sure uh, I have things to describe them with and track them. If you get someone's license plate, you're going to catch them and you can report them to the cops um, and you're going to get your stuff back. And if not, you're going to get your money for your stuff. They're going to be fined for that and you're going to get um, your money for your product. So, I mean, automatic win in my opinion. So, I go, okay, well, we can meet at any location you choose. And I waited a little minute and he didn't reply. So, I, just, I figured I'd push this along a little bit. I go, like, we can always meet at a police station. Obviously, if this is true and he had a bad news with grab and run, the meeting at a police station completely mitigates that incident. Uh, you know, if you're totally allowed to meet at police stations. In fact, a lot of police stations actually have nowadays um, posted signs specifically for online purchases for when people meet up as a safe place. They have it monitored by a cop 24-7, and you're also in a police station. Um, and then it ended there. And this was uh, this conversation ended about two hours ago. So if this dude really wanted to sell these packs, he would have definitely replied. He just completely ignored it. So we're going to go ahead and report this um, seller. Uh, but like, you know, just one of the things that are obvious and, and, and maybe, maybe, maybe you'll get lucky. But what was obvious is if it was base set pack sealed for 500, it could possibly not be a scam. But with it being first edition base set packs, they're probably resealed. They're probably fake cards. I, um, so, uh, yeah, I, it was pretty much a stem off the bat with the price. If the price isn't right, guys, and I'm not saying it's not possible. Like in my first few videos of this channel, I got eight PSA tens or something like that uh, for like 160 bucks. That wasn't that long ago. That was four to five months ago. So that wasn't like years ago. That was when we started this channel four to five months ago. Um, so it's possible to find some great deals. Just be really wary. Try and, um, pull them out. Uh, I've had some interesting things and I'm not telling you to take this risk. I'm telling you that you may have to take a risk if you want to get the deal. Um, try and mitigate risk as much as possible. If, if, if you're, if you're someone who doesn't want to get hurt, I mean, I don't want to get hurt either, but if you're someone who has some serious concern, like you can have someone meet you at the police station. If you're dealing to where you're selling something for a ton of cash and you're only taking cash because you don't want to, 
you're not quite certain about the legalities of PayPal. If someone gives you $3,000 for something, it shows up in your PayPal and then somehow they do some sort of report and PayPal takes it back away from you. If you want new cash only, that's fine. But there's, of course, going to be some issues with that. You're not a store. So either get a counterfeit pen um, like the ink marker to mark off fake bills when people come and buy your high dollar item. Um, I think you can buy those on Amazon. I, I don't know how much they are, but I can't imagine them being more than $5. They're so probably less than that. Or what you can also still do if you don't want to do that is you can have someone meet you at the bank. And um, so like, let's say you're selling a PSA 10 Charizard. You don't want to pay the eBay commission because in my opinion, the amount of percentage eBay gets for commissions is a little ridiculous. Sure, they have a platform and they have some services, but in reality, it's pretty much all automated. They're not really paying anyone to really monitor it too much. So um, that being said, uh, I think eBay should be getting like 1% for all of their sales. That's just my opinion. Um, but hey, it's their business. It's how they open the platform. That's whatever. Um, it'd be amazing if this dude replied while we're doing this video. I doubt he will. In fact, let's just go ahead and send him, let's go ahead and send him three question marks and see if he even replies to that. Uh, I just got a little bit more to talk about. Um, so yeah, just, oh, he's, it's seen by him. Let's see if he, I, I'm really, really interested in what this man's reply is going to be. Um, but yeah, so just be aware of this. Be super aware. Um, I had to do some things in terms of like people would not meet anywhere else but their house and generally I try and meet them outside their house that's generally pretty fine you're still visible to the neighbors you're on a, on, on a driveway it's not too nuts I come from an older era to where as a kid I walked around for miles collecting cans door to door I was like 10 when I did that and uh ah nice okay uh I am flying out to Texas right now. He's making up a big fat excuse. Um, yeah, he, he's trying to mitigate the fact that he probably thinks I'm going to report his listing, which I absolutely am. Um, that's totally happening. <sighs> if I would have met with him at the police station, um, so I'm pretty certain they're fake, pa fake packs for a few reasons, not just because of the price. The price is a huge reason, but also because there was a few little issues just in the picture of the packs that didn't make sense. Um, I would have probably talked, I would have probably gone to the police station a little bit sooner than the meetup time, and I probably would have talked to them about arresting for um, false sales. And I, because this dude is. Um, <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Uh, I don't think this guy's in the military. Um, <laughs> I don't think this guy's in the military. I think he's full of it. Uh, I'll check his profile out later. Um, you know, if, this, if these are real, that's really ridiculous, but I, I just really doubt that he's selling first edition base set pack sealed for $500. That's that's outrageous. That's, that's not, that's like a, such a huge loss on his part. Um, so yeah, uh, I just want to show a little stammer video. It's great that he's replying, um, on the video. That's fantastic. Uh, I am, well, I was getting also for when you go to houses or anything, try and meet them outside the house. I have had to close a few deals inside people's houses. Um, Granted, I'm always ready to wrestle with the tussle, so I'm not really too concerned about it. Um, my mitigation for that, and this is kind of a, an Avenger fact, not really a... Uh, uh, the... Uh, <laughs> the... Uh, <coughs> Oh, speaking of military, today is November 10th, so happy birthday, Marine Corps. But, um, so it's kind of an Avenger fact, you know, when I meet up at someone's house, uh, even if I, just sometimes I don't know if I'm going in until they ask me to come in. So even though my intentions are usually to try and meet them outside their house and just do the deal on, like, the hood of my car or, like, um, you know, wherever, a table if they have one outside or something, I always let some of my buddies know, 
uh, in my family know the address of the last address of the place I went. So if I go missing, um, yeah, they know where to go. Uh, th there is some reasons why I like meeting at houses. It's because it's kind of a permanent location. If that person happened to be a scammer, um, they're going to be hearing from me again. So, but it's fine. I deal with meeting with people at gas stations. I do the gas station one a lot. Um, people like meeting at gas stations. That's fine. Just take your time. Observe your product. They'll generally let you. I haven't had too many issues with that. Um, the reason why they'll let you because you're generally paying several hundred dollars if you're doing binders like me. And um, it works out. I generally have just a general conversation. Most people I talk to um, are pretty good. I haven't had anyone too nuts. If I have anyone who's kind of nuts in the electronic conversation, like these messages here, um, I won't bother. I'll just block them and move on. If I have a loss to where maybe I missed out on making, even if I even if I missed out on making ten grand, I don't deal with the people. Um, it's not worth it. Uh, it'd be nice to make an awesome deal. But if the person just is being ignorant or being an asshole or possible scammer or, or trying to do something that doesn't seem right, uh, I just um, I try to ignore it. But talking about uh, this, I am sorry for the delay. I am going to send those giveaways out soon to the winner. Um, Fiery, Dark Fiery Night and also Vintage Pokemon Hunter Brothers. They won some of our giveaways. And transitioning into giveaways... Um, I think we're at like 74 or 75 subs. So when we reach 100 subs, we'll do a giveaway on this. It's non hollow guys. Don't freak out. I, as we increase in subs, we'll increase the giveaways uh, in value. Um, but it's a non hollow fossil hypno. Did the That's going to try and be our signature. It'll never be the same twice. Um, I'm not good at signatures, but that's going to be hopefully the flaming chicken signature. Man, this dude is just full of its juices. Uh, the other reason why I know he's a scammer is um, he's shipping but doesn't use PayPal. As far as I'm tracking, all the other sort of cash app things, they don't have protective shipping services. So he's definitely selling fakes because you're gonna pay, you may get your package, you may get your sealed pack, but it's a sealed pack of fake cards worth nothing. And so he's making out, he's getting reported. And I really wish I could, I really wish I could call the cops on this guy. It, it sounds like not a big deal, but he just said he has 30 plus packs. He does in $500 a pack. He's going to scam 15 grand from the system. System being the, the collective of people who are buying from him. Um, so yeah, this is our giveaway card. The back is pretty decent. Um, it's better than most of our giveaway cards. Um, there is some whiting. It's not perfect, but it's a giveaway card. When we, when we hit 100 subs, we'll do a separate video for that giveaway. I have several videos coming out. Um, I got so much to talk about, especially a recent market flux. Um, so watch out for that. Help us reach 100 subs so we can do that giveaway. Um, the only reason why I delayed doing the giveaway, sending in the giveaways to uh, to Vintage Pokemon 100 Brothers and Dark Fire and Night is one, I'm super lazy. And two, uh, I usually do multiple giveaways. And um, it, uh, I was lazy. I didn't do as many giveaways. And I try and send everything at once to save on shipping. And so they get everything at once. Um, and then also in terms of giveaways, if you haven't gone back and guessed on the guested raid for my Shadowless Blastoise, the Blastoise is coming back soon. I already know what the raid is. I'm not going to reveal it till we get the card in physically. But if you guess the raid, the first person in order of comments to get the raid right will we'll send a base set water energy and it's pretty much pretty good condition, PSA 8 or higher. Um, why is that, an, you know, like a, oh, okay, thanks for the giveaway base set water energy um if you aren't tracking good condition base set water energies base set energy cards in good condition still hold value i think psa 8s i think of any energy um from base set are going for like 20 bucks that may be an over exaggeration i hope it's not um but it's still a free card still fun to guess the grades and uh, so make sure you're always guessing the grades on our guess the grade videos because you never know what we'll do as a giveaway and um yeah thanks i guess the stream blacked out so that's the end thanks bye